Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to cover some human genetic diseases that you need to understand, uh, primarily in what causes each disease. And I found each of these in the curriculum framework because the College Board may ask you a question about, for example, explain how a change to chromosome structure or the number of chromosomes can cause a disease, for example. So here are some ones that we're going to look at in detail so that you'll have some to choose from if you've ever asked to describe this uh, on an essay. Okay, so remember inheritable diseases are caused by a change within the genome and this change has to occur in a sex cell, okay, which means it has to change in either the egg or the sperm's nucleus. A change to a somatic cell, like a body cell, isn't going to be inheritable. So for example, a change to a skin cell may cause that skin cell to develop into a patch of cancerous tissue, but it's not going to be genetically inheritable to the next generation because obviously your skin cells have nothing to do with sexual reproduction. And also remember that these inheritable diseases are usually caused by one of two different things, either a change in the number of chromosomes or a change to the chromosome itself, the information stored, for example, in the genetic code. So let's look at this list, each one in turn, and uh, see if we can find some interesting things about each. Okay, we're going to look at sickle cell anemia first. And sickle cell anemia is an autosomal trait, which means the gene that causes sickle cell anemia, or the mutation that causes this disease, is an autosome. It's not a sex chromosome. It's a recessive trait, which means it can skip generations because the hybrid does not show the disease. And you should know that this is a disease that's, that's primarily originating in sub-Saharan Africa where malaria is very prevalent and that hybrids are resistant to malaria. So it is something that is evolutionarily uh, selected for. Let me show you what I mean. So if you say that sickle cell anemia is caught is the normal is big A and the disease is little a, okay, if an individual inherits the dominant and the recessive, so they're a heterozygote, this condition here makes them somewhat immune or mostly immune to malaria. So that means this is being selected for, yes, 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 by evolution, um, even though the homozygous recessive condition is going to be fatal. So if two people are heterozygotes, they're going to be resistant to malaria, but 25% of their kids run the risk of inheriting a, a lethal combination of genes. All right, Tay-Sachs disease is another autosomal mutation. And it is also recessive, like sickle cell anemia, but it, it causes a change in a gene that produces an enzyme that allows the body to metabolize a certain lipid that's used in brain tissue. So students, so excuse me, uh, kids that are born with Tay-Sachs, okay, are unable to metabolize this lipid, and it builds up slowly in their brains and usually causes death within two years. Huntington's disease is also autosomal, just like the first two, but it's a dominant mutation, okay? And it's caused by, or it's a mutation to a protein that slowly damages the brain. And this is a really weird mutation. It's a CAG or CAG repeat at the end of chromosome number four. So that means if you look at chromosome number four, okay, if we draw a chromosome here, okay, and there's a centromere and here's the bottom part, at the end of chromosome number four, okay, if you look at this closely, it's made up of these repeats, CAG, 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 over and over again. And normal people have less than 26 of these CAG repeats, and they won't have the disease. But if you have more than 40, you are definitely going to be affected, and you're gonna have to pass that on to half of your kids. So because it's autosomal dominant, dominant Big H, little h, for example, is going to um, have the disease and has a 50% chance of passing the big H, which is the problem here, onto their offspring. Uh, one, of, one of the more interesting ones. Uh, color blindness, or X-linked color blindness, is sex-linked, which means it's caused by a mutation to a sex chromosome, the X chromosome specifically, and it is recessive. So this means that males can't be carriers. Just remember, with sex linkage, okay, if you have an X chromosome, and a Y chromosome, this is a male, if they're carrying this mutation on their X chromosome, they don't have another X chromosome over here to cover it up. If you're female, you have two X chromosomes, and if you have the mutation here, you're what's called a carrier. 
but your normal copy of the gene located at that same locus here is going to cover it up because it's a recessive trait. So females can be carriers and pass it on to all of their sons or half their daughters, whereas males are going to have it and they're going to pass it on to all of their daughters who may be carriers. Okay, And their sons, of course, can't get it from their fathers. And here's a, a colorblind test here. To, um, you could, this is kind of easily detectable in the human population, depending on which of these um, numbers you can read and can't read. I don't know anything more than that about it, so I'm just going to kind of stop there. Um, but I'll admit, I can't see anything in this one or this one, but I can see a 6 in this one and a 6 in this one. All right, so I, I know for a fact that I am red-green colorblind. I do have this trait. All right, Down syndrome. Down syndrome is caused by something called non-disjunction. And non-disjunctions occur when chromosome homologous pairs don't separate during meiosis. So you have a chromosome pair, let's say this is one pair here, one pair here, okay, and they're supposed to separate, okay? So during meiosis one, you're supposed to end up with one homologous chromosome going this way and one going this way, okay? And of course they move because they're being pulled by the spindle fibers. But what happens in a non-disjunction is this homologous pair of chromosomes, okay, for some reason, stay together and they both go this way. So you end up with something that looks like this. One chromosome going this way and the other one following along with it. So what you end up with in a non-disjunction is nothing in this cell and two copies in this one, all right? And that's a problem. Non-disjunction for Down syndrome is caused by chromosome number 21. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, it's an autosome because it's chromosome number 21 has nothing to do with sex chromosomes. Therefore, males and females can be born with Down syndrome. And another name for it is trisomy 21 because what you have, okay, is three copies of chromosome number 21. And which this means that either the egg cell or the sperm cell was carrying two rather than just one of chromosome 21. And I think I read somewhere that it's almost always the X chromosome that's carrying the extra copy here. But it's called a trisomy 21. It's a non-disjunction of an autosome. And finally, Klinefelter syndrome is also caused by a non-disjunction but it's caused by a non-disjunction of the sex chromosomes. And it occurs in the mother, and it's when the mother's pair of X chromosomes don't separate. And so when she has a son, for example, you end up with a son that has two X chromosomes from mom, all right, and a Y chromosome from dad. So this kid is XXY. And as far as I know, Klinefelter syndrome doesn't really cause any serious problems other than problems with reproductive sterility. Um, maybe some mild uh, retardation, but not much. Uh, you can always look it up if you'd like, but Klinefelter syndrome only affects males because they have the Y chromosome. There's no such thing as a Klinefelter female. All right, so changes to chromosome number would include Down syndrome and Klinefelter syndrome. And to sum it up, changes to chromosome structure would include sickle cell anemia, Tay-Sachs, Huntington's, and the X-linked colorblindness because they're all, all caused by mutations or changes to um, information on the chromosomes. Okay, I hope that helped. Thanks for listening.